Inca witch who read my coca leaves in Cusco, Peru, told me I should write a book. I was on my way to Machu Picchu to scatter the ashes of my son, Sasha, who died a year earlier. Losing your only child is beyond devastating. My life had pretty much lost all meaning, but I wanted to honor his life. Sasha was half Colombian. He loved traveling and mountain climbing in South America. He'd walked the Inca Trail and longed to revisit the sacred citadel. I hadn't intended to travel around Peru with his ashes, but as I was leaving England, Sasha's father announced that he wanted to be present at the scattering, but couldn't make it to Machu Picchu until the end of my trip. I decided to hit the road, but before long I was so far out of my comfort zone it wasn't true. Chasing a coach I'd missed down the Pan American Highway because my luggage was on board and heading for Bolivia, flying over the Nazca lines in a wobbly plane, stumbling upon ancient skeleton families in the desert, rowing out to floating islands, sliding down mountainous sand dunes. But Peru reconnected me with life. The Inca witch also told me that Machu Picchu was the right resting place for Sasha. Sasha's father and I scattered the ashes on the first anniversary of his death. Yes, my son was a junkie, but he was also a Buddha.